Hello everyone, today we will be doing a new try hack video that is bypass disable functions. So uh, this is a, a info type room and there's a challenge at the end where you have to get the flag.txt file. Uh, so the main vulnerability he here is file upload vulnerability. Uh, but the twist is that you cannot use the functions such as system or shell execution functions uh, which uh, basically give, gives us the reverse shell back. So these functions are used in the pen tester monkey PHP script that we uh, that uh, everyone in the cybersecurity field does use generally. That is why uh, we will be use using a chancro tool. So what this script does is it creates a file that uses mail function and uh, put any function, and with the help of them we will be able to get our reverse shell back. But there's a couple of things we need before we can upload a file so that is why i'm making this video so let's start off with the nmap scan i'm going to do it from the scratch so it's our ip we directly see two ports open 22 and, and 80 so if we go to port 80 we see a web page maybe it's it's a job website i guess and then here you'll see apply job option you go there and you see that is send your CV in image format so so we now know that uh, we can only upload image files now if we try uh, let's try uploading a PHP file here so uh, maybe I have my PHP reverse shell here yeah it's a pen tester monkey reverse shell so let's turn on our bub suit we go to the path where our pentester monkey reverse shell is there yeah there we have it we open and turn on the intercept it is turned on we click on upload okay send this to repeater and we forward this request and you will see nothing so maybe the file has not been uploaded so let's try uploading an image file Okay, so let me give an image file first. Oops. This should work. Let's save image. Let's save it. We go back. Apply job. Okay, so let's try uploading it. Turn on the intercept. Submit. And we see our intercept request that is image slash jpeg so we just forward it to repeater and we forward the request also and we see okay so this means the image has been uploaded but we do not know where it has been uploaded so we use gobuster to find the hidden directories so gobuster increase the threads 200 and our ip oops Oops, 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 oops. Yep. We see upload directory. We open this directory. And we see our file has been uploaded here. Yeah, it's this one. So, image files are being uploaded. And where they're uploaded? They're uploading in the uploads folder. But we cannot, cannot upload PHP. So, we try to bypass it. So, we try to bypass the filter. So first off, we see we try to change the content time to image slash JPEG. This is what is mentioned here, and also the extension to JPG. We send it, and we don't see an OK. So let's type in OK here, and we see only one match, but there should be another match OK. If the file has been uploaded, then there will be another OK. okay. So now we know that it's not checking the content type it's not checking the extension so maybe it's checking the magic bytes if you do not know what is magic types then you should probably watch my previous video or you can just go to web it's simple so we can try to upload an image file we tried we tried uploading an image file and it succeeded so well let's try uploading an a gif file so the header of gif file is simple that is gif 87a so this is what defines the file is dot gif okay so now this file is not php but 
now it's .gif file so we we send it and we have two matches of ok this means the file has been uploaded so now we know that the server is checking for the magic bytes of the file so we check if the file has been uploaded we go to uploads folder and we see yet it did upload so let's try removing the jpg extension php send it the file has been uploaded and we try opening a netcat listener we refresh the page we have our php file uploaded so if we click it we should get a reverse shell back we do click it but says can't spawn shell and we do not have a shell we did get something back i don't know but uh, as the room creator told us the system and uh, the system exec functions are disabled so they are so we have to bypass the filter so we will be using our charco tool here so let's go to op directory then it was changro i always uh, pronounce it wrong okay so let's copy the command from try hack me but before that you should see that we got uh, another head that is php info.php so that's a php default page so if you go there php info it's php info oh god php info.php then you see the php default page so there's a twist that if you try to make a php file using chancro tool and you upload it you won't get a shell back because there's something you need to enumerate and that is right here in this page so uh, as you know this file is hosted on the server so if you find this file name in this page you'll see the script file name and you'll see the document root location where are this uh, you'll see the location where this file is, uh, is stored so we see that it's stored in the var www.html and then this folder and then php info.php all right so that is what we needed so if uh, now let's try creating a file that's python chancro and uh, oh God. first off we need to create a input file where our payload will be hosted so so let's create a file named c.sh we can name it anything and let's type the commands when to execute so we will be executing a ping, ping command just to check it's working or not so ping dash c1 then my try hack my ip that is 10.17.11253 and we save it we provide the file name here we tell the output to be anything we can say exploit.php and this part is interesting this path is the path where our exploit.php file will be uploaded to so if we upload this file here then it will be uploaded in the plus directory so we need to specify what is the location where it is uploaded so now with the help of php info.php we know where this file will be located so it will be located in var www.html then this weird folder random text folder and then in the uploads directory this is where the file will be uploaded okay so we press enter okay we need sudo permissions of course file could not be opened just a second oh my bad let's move our ch such file here sudo okay enter and it says file created so let's try uploading it but before that we need to execute tcp dump so that we know if uh, so that we know what icmp packets are coming back we will know if someone is pinging us 
So we should get a ping back here. So we upload that is cv.php. It's an opt chancro exploit.php. Yeah, we upload it. And it says not uploaded. Of course, we need to bypass the filter first of all. So exploit.php. Ah, uh, we turn on the intercept, submit, and we add GIF 87A. We forward this, turn off the intercept, and we say, okay, this file has been uploaded. We refresh the page, and we have our file uploaded at spy.php. Okay, so when I click on this file, then we will see a response back. So we click on this file, and we do see a response back. So we have the arbitrary code execution right here okay so now let's get a shell back so we will be using a simple bin bash so reverse shell sheet this one there you go we change our payload to this oops 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 we change the port number and the IP we do bin bash dash C then okay this is fine now we launch this script again now file is created we go browse exploit.php intercept the request submit send this to repeater i don't know why i've sent this repeater i did it by mistake <laughs> okay so as you can see wait yeah so uh so we have a metaplater here and you'll see we have in front of metaplater we have a base64 encoded payload so this is our payload that was that has base64 encoded so if you echo this then you do base64 decode and you'll see this is our payload so instead of creating the file again and again with the different payload you can just type in your payload like this like payload anything and then base64 you'll get a string back you just copy this and paste it here and just forward the request every time you don't need to create a, uh, the file again and again and upload it so that being said let's get back and upload our exploit.php file we attach gif 87a here we forward the request we turn off the intercept we have an ok here and Oh, let's launch our uh, netcat listener we refresh the page and we get a shell back awesome so now let's go back to home directory this user and we have our flag right here so i hope you learned something new in this video thank you for watching